right guys um i got this message from amazon they said we've checked your file and found issues you need to fix before your book can be published on kdp yes they are going to specify where the error is coming from and if you see here you can see from here we have um this are the cover these are the cover it said remove all template text and guides from your cover file where possible we give pages numbers and all the stuff last time in my last tutorial i talked about this i got from them we checked your file and found issues update the page number in your this all this they will always tell you where the problem is if you see now this is at the interior but today this one is at the cover so you have nothing to do with your interior it has nothing to do with your um uh, with the uh you, the problem here is the cover so now uh, but in case i'll be telling the step-by-step -step process on how to make a good cover uh, in case you want to see how this was treated, you can forward till you get to the place where I talked about how to fix this. But if you want to learn the proper way, just stick to this video to the end. Or better still, you can forward faster till you get to the place you want to watch. All right, now, first of all, one thing you should know is when you're making your book, knowing the uh, amount of page is worthy. Like from here, we have at least um, 80 something page, 89 page. And Amazon has already given you book cover calculator. Let me say, come here, I said, uh, book cover calculator i search for it amazon is going to give you um how to calculate your book cover so the first one here is the binding type is it ad cover or paperback so let's say we're doing a paperback depending if it's ad cover pick then the interior type black and white premium color means is uh, colored then standard color red green blue so if you're using modern uh, uh three different colors you can go for premium color but know this Printing cost is going to be very, 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 very expensive. Well, it's your choice anyway, no one. But I will go with black and white while we proceed further. So the paper type, is it cream paper or white paper? Well, let's use white paper because of when you're printing so that people can be able to read very well. So let's use white paper. Then pet uh, tone direction. Uh, it's not Arabic. It's not Hebrew. We are going to do from left to right, which is the normal reading. Then we're going to uh, select measurement. I'm doing this on inches. If your own is millimeter, you can proceed with it. Then at the interior size, depending on the interior size, me, I'm using 6 times 9, and I'm going to pick that. Then the number of page count is, let's say I'm, I want to do 400. If your paperback, your uh, page content is, uh, your interior, the total interior pages are 500. You use 500 at 5 put extra five pages. So let's say I'm doing 95, I'm going to just make it 100, yeah. Then when I'm done, I'm going to click out. Then it said, okay, uh, okay, sorry, 100. Then you can see I'm going to calculate. So Amazon does not permit more than 830 pages. So be careful when making your pages and, the, and the, um, the page setup, that's the book type you're using. If your content is much, use A4. But if your content is not that much, you can use A5 and move forward. So now we have this. We see we have these are 12.45 and these 9.25. So now we have this. We're going to go straight to Amazon. Then we're going to X out from you. We're going to create a design. To create a design, we're going to come to custom size and pick an inch. Then we'll pick that. Now we're going to move on to this cover size calculator that we just made. I believe it's this. We have 12.457. I'm going to copy that and 9.25. So let's come in here and paste that at inch. Then we have 9.25. Now we have that we're going to create a new design and patiently wait for it to load. Then we have almost a large stuff you can see from here. So now I want to download this template so that we can use it. So to download the template, add on to download template, patiently wait for it, then it's going to be downloaded. Then we're going to extract that immediately. If you're using your phone, you can use WinRAR to extract this, or you can use 7-Zip or Z -archive, Archiver, any of these, or look for any extraction and file from your Play Store or Apple Store and extract it immediately. So now we have that. I'm going to check my download and I'm going to just go straight to this. I'm going to double click on it. I'm opening it. Then when I open it, I'm going to copy this uh, PNG because that's the template they told you to cover. So now this template, I'm going to copy it. It has been copied. I'll put it at the desktop. I want to delete this because I already have a copy here. So I'm going to put paste here. Now this is the template we just uh, gotten. Look at it here, over here. So let me just drag it and leave it here. This is it at this place. So now what we'll do now is to just drag it to this uh, place. This place will make in our design. Let me just use the half screen here. And why I X out from all these, let me exit from all this. Then I'll pull this here and just put it at the upload. 
or if you're using a smartphone just click on upload and find it in your phone and copy this so i'm going to just wait for this then it's uh, it comes up kindly drag it to the end of this place then pull it at the bottom down so let's just drag it to this end now we have this now this is the reason you got that message they said cover remove all template test and guide from your cover file yes amazon don't want to seal this when you make your design so what we're going to do is to cover it with any shape of our choice so i'm going to come here now i'm going to pick a shape from here i'm going to pull it here and ensure it cover through the book now we've done that we'll now leave it because so we can pick an, a color let's say from here i'm going to so that i see what i'm doing i'm going to just drop this a bit then now you can see anything inside this place it's acceptable so let me just check out my upload you see i have something let's say this is what i want to use then i'm going to put this here then when you put it put it at this place it's safe here because within that line you can put it like this you can see it doesn't touch this line but ensure it doesn't come inside then i'm going to pull this by the side like this i'm going to pull it by the side then if you want you can pull this like this but ensure you don't lose your test ensure you don't lose your test and all that stuff so you can pull this up all these are okay you can drag this to this place till it fits and this you have it already because you've covered a template let's say you want to um, write something here ensure you don't add anything in this place yes when i say you don't add anything in this place ensure you don't add anything in this place and ensure you don't put anything in between this line um, anything does not contradict this line if you are putting anything ensure it's inside the lines and it doesn't touch it to avoid issues all right now we have that now let's get on to the next stuff all right now we have that now we want to uh come straight to this place and increase the transparency you can decide to change the color this here you can drag this down if you feel and it's cool to go then you can use a choice color from here like this and you have your book cover then when you're good you can add all that stuff if you feel like writing add any stuff but ensure you your book um uh, the transparency is always like this so that you see where to place your test then when you're good you can pull up now and then share for you to share that just ensure you download in pdf print if you're using the canva pro you should be able to change from rgb rgb means if the person want to view it on just device but if the person is planning to print it out it's advisable you use the cmyk color best for professional printing so i'm going to pick that if you're not using the canva pro you can dm me so that i add it to my team immediately so that i become part of it and get access to lifetime um canva all right when you go to go it on download i believe with this you should be able to solve this and if you want to get more updates on errors you shouldn't um make on amazon so that you don't lose your account you can watch through my youtube channel as well and don't forget to share to your friend that are doing kdp because this is really a journey and i believe this you've learned so well what you do for me now is to subscribe to my youtube channel as well you can hit on the notification bell so that you get notified when i make videos just check my content there are lots and lots of stuff i've talked about amazon kdp and i believe it's going to be of help to you thank you for your time and thank you for watching i'll see you in other tutorials as well